First, I bought this light by myself. No one sponsored this video. Hello buddy, my name is Kai Won. Today I'm going to do an in-depth review about this Aperture 600D Pro. I will tell you all the pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like. So let's get started. First, light output. So I think foot candle and locks are just numbers. They are just boring. So I decided to bring this beast with me and play with it on set. So I have three projects I want to share with you guys and show you how powerful this light is. So the first project is a wedding. So a 600D Pro with the hyper reflector is 15 to 20 meters away the weather is kind of unstable so I use the 600d pro as a beautiful hair light and I just got these beautiful footage next project is the wedding but this time we are indoors I use the 600d pro with a 120 centimeter softbox without diffuser and put it five meters away so I use a 600d pro as a sun like key light fun fact another photographer shoot photos she just put away her speed light because her speed light is just not powerful enough compared to the 600D Pro. She just used the 600D Pro as a key instead. Isn't that crazy? Okay, next project is a bigger project. This is my first time to mix the 600D Pro with two 300D Mark II. So I use a 600D Pro with a 120 centimeter softbox with a 0.5 stop diffuser as a key and put it five meters away. Every single time I lit up this Aptra 600D Pro, just mind blown. If you use a HMR light before, you will know how fast and easy to control such a powerful light. It's just mind blown. So indoor 5 meter test, the 600D Pro with a hyper reflector, we can shoot around f9. Bear bulb around f7. The bear bulb 600D Pro is one and one third of a stop brighter than a 300D Mark II. The new 600D Pro reflector have a really obvious hot spot. And because if we use a hyper reflector and shoot the light directly to what we are going to shoot, we will get multiple shadows. So with the 600D Pro new hyper reflector, it's easier to bounce the light or diffuse the light and get more output out of the 600D Pro. There are three advantages to use a such a powerful light. First, you can put the light further away. Second, you can use a smaller aperture. Third, you can diffuse the light so you can have more flexibility by using such a powerful light. So if you use Aperture 600D Pro with 14.8 volts battery, the 600D Pro can squeeze just a little bit more output than the 300D Mark II with the same batteries. The 600D Pro is a 600 watt Cobb LED light and this Cobb is huge. It's 4.5 centimeters wide. You can count how many LEDs are in this Cobb if you want to. But because the Cobb is so huge, it's it's harder to create some hard crisp shadow. I do a test around 4.5 meters away. The small cop on the 300D Mark II is just easier to create crisp shadow. The fan noise on the control box is noticeable and fan mode on. In fan mode off, all the fan will stop immediately. It's a totally silent mode, but if you crank up the intensity like this, it will just black out and protect itself. So if you want to use the full power of this beast, fan mode on will be the way to go. Another problem is the firmware. It's kind of buggy. Well, the fan on the lamp hat just won't stop. Fan on the lamp hat just spin like crazy, even if it's cold. Another fun fact, using this light 100% several hours, this control box is still pretty cold. It's not even warm. So I hope Aperture can tune down the fan speed on this control box in a future firmware update. The cob has a little cutout under. I have no idea what is this for. Maybe it's for more airflow or maybe it's for rain resistant. About rain resistant, this light is an IP54 rating rain resistant. This is a huge selling point. RE M18, M90, and even RE Max just have IP23 ratings. In theory, the Aperture 600D Pro will be the awesome light to work in the rain. Bowen's mount is secure and deep inside, and the release button is easy to use. But it is hard to find the mounting point in the dark because it's deep inside, it's harder to find. The 600D Pro have a higher Kelvin number. I guess Aperture is trying to make this light easier to mix with other brands HMI light because this is super blue. The LCD on the control box is special. It will change the brightness of the screen depends on the environment. And if you use battery, display will cycle through the battery percentage. Aperture make an awesome comfortable rubber hand grip. It's easy to adjust the angle no matter it's above your head or on the ground. The yoke is taller. Easy to spin the light 360 degrees without ruining your cable. The cable between the control box and the lamp head, it's kind of hard to plug it in and pull it out. You need to use some force. 
it's a one step process but the dot on the cable is at the top need some luck to plug it in if it's on a stand the power cable is the same awesome neutral cable super secure and easy to use outstanding build quality no more sharp edge like the 300d mark ii beautiful curved design quality control box huge accurate dial quality braking system no problem with large modifiers huge handle easy to adjust the angle baby pin and a full size junior pin connector easy to mount on all kinds of light stands and accessories awesome controller clamp i really like but the size is still the same it's harder to see the mounting point behind the control box because this control box is huge i try to put the fernail 2x onto the 600 pro but at first you cannot focus properly because the cob is a little bit bigger and second it is extremely hot and dangerous. You can smell something burning. So you can fit the Fresnel 2X doesn't mean you can use it safely. 600 Pro with AC powered, we can reach our intensity we want instantly. But if we use V-mount battery, the intensity will slowly increase to save the battery. Very good little detail. Battery charging with the control box fast enough. We can charge two 240 watt hour batteries within five hours. The roller case is surprisingly big. We can put lots of stuff in there. We can put batteries, we can put extension cable, we can put gaff tapes, lots of space. I think the 600D Pro is more than 1.2K HMI because if you use the HMI before, you know the dimmer is just like a joke. It's impossible to dim it down like this. This is 0.1% and it's impossible to let it up 100% like this. This is so easy. If you use a HMI, you need to wait three to five minutes to let the color temperature to be stable. This is crazy. This light is already a game changer, but if you wait a few years later, maybe a 1.2K LED comes out. That will completely destroy the filmmaking industry. Okay, so this is the end of this video. So if you like this video, press a like, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.